Hey y'all, it is a beautiful fall day here, so I am going to make beef stew in the crock pot. Dirty dishes, peaceful wishes, blissful messes tangled up in joy. It's Rachel here from Day Day Joyce. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like I said, I am going to be making beef stew in the crock pot. I put this on my blog several years ago. I will leave the link below. It's a cozy family meal and I'm gonna be doing it a little bit different. I'm gonna be adding some cabbage into it this time. So I hope you enjoy it and let's get to cracking. All right, here is my recipe on my blog. And so I'm going to look at it and see what I need. And also my new Pioneer Woman crock pot came in, I believe. So I'm gonna open it up and then I'm getting all my ingredients ready over there. Yep, that's what was in that box. I'm gonna open this up now. Isn't that adorable? So pretty and cute. And this is how it looks out of the box. It's lightweight and this is the heavy part. And it has all of these options. I will leave this below in the description box in case you wanted to check it out. I got it on Amazon. I'm gonna wash this up and start getting the beef stew in here. Got this drying over here, dishwasher going. Gonna get all these vegetables and things ready. All right, I got everything ready over here. So we are gonna need some beef broth, apple cider vinegar, ketchup. I'm adding in a bay leaf, you don't have to. Onion powder, paprika, this is like Mrs. Dash, parsley, some butter. We've got potatoes that we're gonna dice up. Tomato sauce is optional. If you like yours more tomato based, we're not gonna use that. So I'm gonna put that back where my canned goods go. Got some peas, green beans, corn, carrots, some celery. Like I said, I'm gonna add in some cabbage and then we use this coleslaw. Not all of it, but some of it. Got onion, I don't have a whole onion, so I have these frozen onions, beef stew, meat, and Let's get to putting it all in there. I already added in some because I forgot to film some before. So I've got my celery and my carrots. All right, I've got carrots, celery, and potatoes. Now I'm gonna add in the cans. These vegetables are optional and just however many that you would like. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the whole can in, but they are drained. And then onions, however many you would like. I'm going with the whole can. Peas, I don't know about that. Mm, might leave that much, we'll see after I stir it up and see. And corn, probably mostly all of it. So I'm gonna stir that up and see and add in the onions. Looking super tasty and hearty. All right, on to the spices. So I have parsley, paprika, onion powder, salt, pepper, a bay leaf, about a tablespoon or so of butter, and I'm gonna add this in. And I'm gonna rinse this off, and this will be this my dish that I use to keep my spoon on. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of ketchup, but I'm just gonna kind of eyeball that. Then, ones of minced garlic. One teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Eight, two ounces of beef broth. Next is the beef stew meat. And sometimes you can cook it on a pan just to brown it up, but this time I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna get it out of here, drain it, and add it in. I've done that before and it tastes super good either way. 
So I put the meat in and these pieces are pretty big for our liking. So I'm gonna cut them up and I like to use scissors. All right, I have one teaspoon of the no salt seasoning like Mrs. Dash. I cut up all the meat into smaller pieces and I'm going to add in about one cup of chopped up coleslaw mix or cabbage. It's gonna be a heaping cup of coleslaw. And then I'm going to stir this up. I already have the settings on low for six hours and we'll see how it turns out after that. And I, I might add in some more coleslaw, I don't know. We'll see, some of the cabbage, since I'm kind of making this a little bit different. And as you can see, it's really hearty. Later we'll make a roux and add that in and then we'll add more broth in if we need to. So, see you in about six hours. And it is smelling delicious. My kids are all over there now, they're ready to eat. But I wish there was smell -o vision because it's smelling so good. And <clears throat> and I really like the addition of the cabbage because it makes it hearty and healthier and it tastes pretty good. So here is just some of it. I'm gonna serve this up. And my recipe over on my blog usually calls for a roux where you mix some flour and your water or some flour and butter and you add it I don't think it actually needs it this time, but if you want it to be creamier, you can certainly add it. But otherwise, I think this looks delicious just the way it is. All right, I served it up in these little glass bowls and I'm going to go bring it over to the dinner table now. All right, that's gonna be it for this cozy beef stew recipe. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope that you will subscribe. I do videos about mom life, homeschooling, and lifestyle videos like this, a cooking video. If you like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.